Hello, I'm Tina from Victoria Designs and I have another mini project for you. This time it is not a freebie, but I think we already have a ton of valuable freebies on our YouTube channel. What is a mini project? Well, it's a crafting project where everything is already prepared for you. I've done the thinking for you. No need to think about measurements, just print the sheets, cut out and assemble with a minimum of tools. You can easily make it in an afternoon, alone if you need some me time or together with friends for a crafty get together. This project is a tiny mini booklet, more specifically the Daydreams tiny mini booklet. Yes, it's small. The designs are based on the Daydreaming journal kit that was released a while ago. In this video, I will simply show you how to put it together. It is really easy if you follow along. If you're interested in more of these mini projects, we have some for free via our YouTube channel and also we sell a bunch in our Etsy shop. There's also a template available if you would like to make this model with your own papers. I will put all the links you need below. Enjoy! So here are all the pages that you get. There are seven pages plus uh, back designs that you can print on the back. I printed everything on 160 grams paper. That's about 60 pound cover. You can definitely also print it on 120 grams. Then it will be a little bit more, less sturdy. Let, let me say it like that. On these seven pages, there are enough designs to make two tiny mini booklets. So the first page has two covers for the two mini booklets. And I printed a back design on the back. Now, there are also four panels on here, but I put them here anyway, even though they don't need a back design, because otherwise I, I should have put them on yet another paper. And yeah, I want to kind of fill the papers as much as possible. So here are the covers in four small panels. On page two, there are two uh, pieces for the pages. There are also uh, print a back design on the back. And then three as well, but different designs. And you can choose one of these for booklet one and one of these for booklet two. And here are the uh, main panels for the covers. So there are enough, again, for two mini booklets you can choose. And then we have two pages that have all these tiny mini pockets to put in there. And then you can put all nice tiny things in there. By the way, these panels and these pockets don't have a bag design at all. And last but not least, there is a page with mini envelopes. And if you need more, you can definitely print more. You can print as many as you like. And I also printed a bag design on the back. And the first thing that needs to be done right now is, of course, cut everything out. And I will do that now and come back to you. So here are all my parts. I usually put them in a box. It's just easier to not lose them and see what's still left, etc. Especially with so many parts. The next thing that I'm going to do that is definitely optional is I'm going to add a little bit extra of inking on the edge. I have already did this one uh, to hide the white of the paper on the sides and also on the inside of the booklet. My ink is actually not the right color for this. I have uh, aged mahogany. It's more like a reddish one, so I'm not going to overdo it here, but it'll, it will still work. I think if you have a deep purple one, that that's a better idea. But I'm just working with what I have. This is more of a pink one and it will still work. I just want to leave a little bit of def definition on the inside. And you will see me um, probably ink the edges a little bit more from time to time. But that's just optional and that's uh, what you prefer. Usually, like with this uh, tiny little envelope, if like the sides just the height that they are white. This is a very tiny detail, but I like to, to hide it a little bit. There. So definitely optional, but I'm going to show you how to create one. Okay, so I have four score lines here that need to be scored. If you don't have a scoreboard, use a ruler and an empty pen uh, with something like a placemat underneath or so, um, that will work just fine as well. This is just, yeah, just easier. So, then I'm going to fold the lines. If you like, you can also score these lines on the inside, but I'm not going to do that this time. 
the booklet will become like this, the cover. And the next thing I'm going to do is apply all the outside covers. So here come the outside panels. On the inside, there will also be panels later. These panels will give a bit more texture to the little booklet, but also give it more strength. Now, since there are a lot of cover panels here, you can just mix and match the ones that you want to use. So I will choose these three here and I already inked the edges and I'm simply going to glue them on. If you want this to last for years, I, I suggest to use a wet glue that will stick for a long time, like a, a lean stacky glue or so. But for the sake of this video and to make it a quick video, I'm just going to use my glue stick. You can also use double-sided tape, but it might be that they will loosen over the years. Okay, so... And there's enough glue on here i'm gonna line it up here you see there's like a tiny little border here usually i have eight of an inch borders all around but since this is such a tiny little booklet it's more like a sixteenth of an inch uh, border all around and i'm going to apply these just the same way there our cover is done it will look like this you see I'm going to put this aside for a bit. I'm going to concentrate on the inside pages. And for that, I need two strips of these. So I'm just going to choose two strips. And I think I'm going to go with, oh, with these ones. And the other two you can use for the second booklet. I'm going to give them a little ink here. Especially on the other side, because this is going to be the back of the pages and otherwise they have nothing of definition here you can keep it like that for sure that's what you like yeah i wish i had a deep dark purpley color ink i only have light color ink that's a lightly colored purple ink but i would have to use like the whole uh, ink pad i think to have some color on there it's a bit too light can't have every color of ink in your craft room can you can you is that a thing having every <laughs> every color of ink in your craft room i suddenly realize i need to be careful because i'm going to attach these to each other and they will be attached like this but if i turn around and i attach it like this i will have this line in the wrong place this ink line you know so um i'm gonna do it like this there's still time <laughs> and here it will all almost be invisible so whew, Note to myself and to you, don't ink on the back side this edge and this edge on the side of these tabs. Luckily I haven't done that one yet. And now I'm going to score all these lines. And first I'm going to attach them now together. So I already know that I'm gonna do it like this and not like that. And for this, you can attach them with um, glue for sure, but I am going to add, am I still okay here? Yeah, I'm gonna add some double-sided tape here. Doesn't matter if your tape is a bit smaller than the tab, but make sure that you put the tape against the fold um and not the other side okay let's remove this backing there and now i'm going to place this on top right next to that folding line as straight as you can there otherwise your pages will be wonky there and now i'm going to start folding my pages like this You can also fold them one by one, maybe that's even a bit safer, so like this. So my pages will be glued in like this because it will be glued in on the top. And then you have a little booklet that you can open, etc. Or like this. If you like, you can also, and this time I'm actually going to do that, I think. I hope it's not going to be too weird. A light inking here yeah just lightly 
because it's 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 not the most perfect color here. I'm not going to overdo it. Again, all my inking is optional, but I want to show it nevertheless. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna fold it back to how it should be. There, and now the pages can be glued into the cover. So I'm going to add some tape again here, or glue, on the top. And I'm going to, yeah, you know what? I'm going to ink the edges for you guys to show you where the folds are. It's, it's a tutorial thing that as, I just want to make it as clear as possible for you. So with inking these... It's gonna help you to see what I mean. Now you can see clearly my folds and now I'm gonna put some tape in here and I'm going to glue it in right here next to that second fold and there will be an eighth of an eight, a sixteenth of an inch on top and the bottom left. So like this. Some tape again if it's narrower put it next to the fold Oops. I'm going to hold it like this so I can really place it in place. There you go. So it's right next to the fold here. It will fold up like this and it will close like this okay now before i go any further i'm going to add a closure here of course if you have another type of closure that's perfectly um great to use as well you can put some velcro here and some velcro here but yeah you might ruin it if the velcro is too tight but i'm just going to use a circle closure with some twine now there's no circle closure in the kit but I just punched out a 5 8 of an inch circle of the back design from an offcut so you can definitely use that as well define the edges a little bit or even give it a lot of ink or use a piece of scrapbook paper that you like very much as always I'm going to attach two identically sized circles from sturdy scrapbook paper on the back One's enough, two probably. Just saying. This. Bit more ink to hide the edges. I'm gonna punch a hole right in the center there. And I'm going to also make a mark here in the center, about this wide, like half an inch from the edge. Again, you can place it wherever you like. Come on. Punch a hole here as well. I have your little brad in the color that kind of matches. Putting the brad through the hole through my eight piece here if you don't know what i'm talking about watch any of my other mini project tutorials that has a circle closure okay true open the legs i'm gonna add a little bit of tape on top to protect the panel that's going to go on top i'm gonna leave the tape on for now and remove this help now i have a little tiny gap here where uh, with enough room for the rope now the first thing i'm gonna do now is glue in the inside panel so i'm gonna add a panel here add a panel here so i can hide this edge here and add a panel here on top this can go in here pages on the other side this one will go in here and it will immediately also hide 
the tab of that page, uh, the tab of all the pages here. I'm gonna remove this one already. And this one will come here. It's not where it should be. Yeah, a bit harder because of the volume here. There, but this way it will cover that closure. <laughs> like this. And now I can start embellishing these pages. Now these are beautiful on their own, but these are a bit sparse. So all of these are gonna come in handy for sure. There are more than enough pockets here. And I'm going to attach them with very thin tape. Look, normally I would attach them with a quarter of an inch tape. That's about six millimeters. But the, the more tape you have, the less room you have to actually put something in there. So for these tiny little projects, I like to use an eighth of an inch uh, double-sided tape. So that's about three millimeter. You have more wiggle room, you know, you have more room to put uh, these tiny little in envelopes in there, etc. But if you don't have that, you can use this one or cut it in half. And you can play with them because these uh, corner pockets, well, corner, these slanted pockets go either way. So you can choose if you want one that goes that direction, one that goes that direction. And we have all these side pockets as well. Easy peasy, just add tape on the sides that you don't want something to fall out. So I'm just going to add tape on the sides and the bottom. And that's the case with all the pockets you want to put in there. Got to ink it a little bit because sometimes um, you cut a little bit off. I mean, we're all human, and this will hide that. Yay! Okay, now I'm going to line this up. And of course, you place your pockets where you want to. There, and now you have a little tiny pocket right here. Let's say I want one pocket here now. The slanted side is, of course, the top side, and all the other sides can have some tape. Quickly going to add bits of inking here. So again, side, bottom. And just line this up. There you go. We have a nice pocket here. And of course, you can also put some here. For example, these fit here well as well. This fit here well as well. It's just what you like, how you like it, mix and match to your own content. I'm going to add my pockets and I'm going to come back to you. Okay, I put a pocket on every page on the back side. And actually I forgot to tell, the two pages meet here and here was that tab. But with this, po this pocket, I completely hid it. You can't see it. It became an invisible seam here. I didn't put any pockets on the front, but you can definitely do that. You can add pockets here as well. Everything will probably go together, you know, with the colors and the styles, etc. Um, you can really play with it and there's more than enough to play with. And now with the put in these pockets, you can put little notes in there, a little bit of money if you like. You can also make a little note and put it in a tiny little mini envelope and put it in a tiny pocket that is in the tiny mini booklet. You see where I'm getting at? Yes. Making the envelopes is very easy. Now, you don't have to print a full back design on the back for sure. I did that, but you will see that you will only probably see this piece. And if you like, you can solve that with this type of ink instead of having to print the whole back. So I'm just going to score these four lines. 
this. Fold them. I already inked the edges. And the way to do it is fold in the side flaps, fold in the bottom flap, and then you have the top flap. I'm going to leave the top flap open. There's no use in closing it, actually. But I'm just going to make a little mark up to where my glue can come. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape. Yeah, I'm trying to make the mark right under that you don't see it. Yeah, so I know I have to put a tiny little bit of tape here. To close you can also use glue dots here or just a little bit of um of uh, glue stick for sure so i'm gonna put a bit here i'm gonna put a bit here and that's enough so i'm gonna close that and here's your cute tiny little mini envelope you can add a bit more ink if you like to these folds there and then these cute envelopes fit in the side pockets very well and normally they will fit in here as well very well if you use a very tiny tape here so i do really recommend that but look how cute is this and you can fill this whole booklet with these tiny mini envelopes and with other thingies, etc. And you see there's a bit of room left, but I did that on purpose that you can actually fill this. Okay, and to close this, I'm just going to add some thread. So I'm going to... I have here um, embroidery thread, the full thickness. I'm just going to add some knots here two or three just to be sure I'm gonna cut off the excess thread here you can tuck that little bit in there there and to close it you see I didn't cut off the length first I'm gonna close it like this okay and you can close it however you want. You can go around, around, around a few times. But the way I like to close it is I'm going to go around. Around the circle, I'm going to go back. And around the circle. I'm going to leave a bit of thread and go. If you want to add some beads or anything to this, uh, to this end, you need to leave a bit more thread, of course. But this is how it's going to be. You can also use small, uh, narrow ribbon. But yeah, this is how you make this tiny mini booklet. So it opens up like this. And you have a lot of pages with beautiful uh, pockets and images and mini envelopes, etc. And here they are, I finished them both and let me show you quickly what they look like on the inside. Thank you so much for watching this assembly tutorial. If you would like to buy these designs as well, you can find them in our Etsy shop. The link is below. And now I wish you a happy crafty day. Bye bye.